You must know that exams in the United States in a college are much more practical and much more situation based as compared to in India. So in this video, I will be showing you some of my exams and homeworks. So let's get started. So starting with my software engineering class, the first question was from the textbook. And yes, I knew it and I did some mistakes, but I got full points. And the next question was situation based. So in this question we are supposed to imagine that we are a software engineer and how we can prevent to do some mistakes yes i knew i knew that because i have worked as a software engineering intern and i know how to solve those problems easily so next question was also practical and this required us to know some of the basic concepts that we should know while building a software moving on with question four and i did some mistakes because we were supposed to give three points and I gave only one point for the disadvantage and but this question was easy as well and this is also practical once again and also situation based. Moving on to another question this is a basic practice of scrum in a software engineering company and this is like a very basic question and we all know about scrum properly and I was supposed to give only three points and I gave five and got full points. Last but not the least, this was a very easy question on Agile and why Agile should use some plan-based methods and I knew it. This is also situation-based and I have used these methods in a company as well. So it was very easy for me and I could get 94 very, very easily by just studying for two to three hours. And I read those uh, study guide provided by the professor for these exams. So that was very, very easy for me. So moving on with my data structures class and in this class I have been asked to uh, fix some errors in a program, find out mistakes, write a program or to uh, find some issues in a program such as logical errors, compiler errors or syntax errors. So these uh, errors were very easy for me to fix because I have uh, worked on these programs for a long time. I have been a Java developer for a very long time. So this was very easy for me to get 100 in this exam as well. So moving on with my next exam for the class named Automata and this is my most difficult class that I have ever taken and I got a hundred in it but that was hundred out of hundred and ten because we had bonus points so starting with the first problem uh, these were also some practical truth tables problems and uh, this is some math concept that I learned in CBSE board in grade 12 uh, relating to relation and and functions and the next problem was building an FA that's a finite automaton and uh, this is something you will learn when you become uh, a student here but uh, this was an option class so this is a class that I had to take being a master's come uh, a bachelor student because I'm doing bachelor's and master's together so this is like a master's class that I have to take so uh, the but but the problems were straightforward and easy and uh, and also all of them for, were from the questions, from the back size questions that we were provided. Moving on, we also have problems relating to mathematical induction because recursion is derived from mathematical induction and we must know that thoroughly. And this will help us in making those recursive programs easily. Not directly though, but in future, after like 10 years, we will not forget these concepts. So automata is a very important class in that. And all of these problems are not that hard at all because all of these are directly from our textbook and these are very easy to understand and um, very practical. So moving on with my homeworks and my homeworks have been like make a program that simulates an elevator and that is also very practical because we should know how an elevator is built like and also how to make a array list from scratch because this will help us going in deep into those data structures and learn how those were made by themselves also making linked lists, trees from scratch and also some other programs were on uh, recursions and all of them were easy not that hard at all if you are paying good attention in class and if you know the core of those concepts then you will be able to manage all of these easily and yes these are not that difficult it's just that you have to put in the effort to practice and do those problems and it is very important for you to go deep into those concepts so that you never forget them and you can do those homeworks very easily so i hope this video helps you out so that's pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye